Huckleberry Finn is a boy who lives with a mean old lady. She wants him to be proper. Huck doesn't like that. He wants to be free. One day, Huck runs away. He finds Jim, a man who used to be a slave. Jim is running away too. They become friends. Huck and Jim find a raft. They travel down the Mississippi River. They have many adventures. They meet two men who lie a lot. These men call themselves kings and dukes. They trick people. Huck doesn't like them, but he stays with them. The kings and dukes put on silly plays. They take people's money. They get in trouble. Huck feels bad about the tricks. Huck and Jim keep going down the river. They see beautiful things. They see scary things. They talk about life. They talk about what's right and wrong. Sometimes, Huck dresses like a girl. He does this to find out news. He wants to know if people are looking for them. Huck learns that people think Jim is a runaway slave. They think Huck is dead. Huck doesn't know what to do. Huck and Jim meet more people. Some are nice. Some are not. They learn about how people live. They learn about how people think. The kings and dukes get into more trouble. They sell Jim. Huck is very sad. He wants to find Jim. Huck looks for Jim. He finds him on a farm. The farm belongs to Tom Sawyer's family. Huck meets Tom Sawyer. Tom is Huck's old friend. Tom wants to help Huck. They make a plan to free Jim. Tom's plan is very silly. It's very complicated. But Huck goes along with it. They dig a tunnel. They write silly notes. They almost get caught. They keep going. They want to free Jim. Finally, they free Jim. But Tom gets hurt. Jim helps Tom. Jim is a good man. People come to the farm. They find out who Huck and Tom are. They find out who Jim is. Tom's family is very nice. They take care of everyone. They find out that Jim is not a slave anymore. He is a free man. Huck is very happy. Jim is very happy. Tom is very happy. They are all hero. But Huck is not done. He doesn't want to live with the old lady again. He doesn't want to be proper. Huck wants to be free. He wants to have more adventures. He wants to see more of the world. So Huck says goodbye. He says goodbye to Tom. He says goodbye to Jim. He says goodbye to the river. Huck goes off on his own. He goes to find his own way. He goes to be his own person. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is a story about growing up. It's a story about friendship. It's a story about what's right and wrong. It's a story about America. It's a story about people. It's a story about life. It's a story that makes you think. It makes you laugh. It makes you feel. It's a story that shows you a world. It's a world of fun. It's a world of trouble. It's a world that's all about a boy named Huck. And it's a world that's all about you. So read the story. Take the adventure. Be like Huck. Be free. That wraps up another episode of our wonderful journey through books. We travel page by page, chapter by chapter, discovering the magic that lies within each story. If you enjoyed this adventure and you can't wait to jump into our next book, be sure to follow us on Spotify so you never miss a story. Remember, each book opens a new world and we're here to guide you through it one summary at a time. We're making books simpler, easier and more exciting just for you. Don't forget, you can share our podcast with your friends and family so they can join us on our reading adventures too. And until our next book-filled journey, keep reading, keep learning and most importantly, keep dreaming. This is Redis the podcast that brings books to life for everyone.